What's up everyone and welcome back to yet another video and today I'm going to show you how to create a chill M and piano beat in Apple Studio. So I'm going to try to create a really unique God progression, something really cool, which for example fits the style of DJ Stokey. So of course for M and piano I'm going to adjust the BPM to 113. And first I'm going to start off with the drums. So in most of the cases when you listen to M and piano they're starting off with a drum loop. So in this case, I want to build the drum loop first and then later on add the melody elements to make sure the melody elements fit the drums perfectly. So first I'm going to start off with the foundation of the drum loop, which are some simple loops. So first I'm going to start off with the Emma Piano Paradise drum kit. So let's use Shaker Loop 1. Let's create a four bar loop like this. This one, very simple. But I want to define it a little bit more. So in this case, I'm going to use... So right now I'm going to use the African Producer Bundle to add just another layer, just to make it a little bit more unique. So I want to use this one, Shaker 57 in this case. So let's extend this one. And let's lower down the volume. Just another Shaker loop. And I've layered a tambourine with some reverb. Sounds really cool. So I was scrolling through some random sample packs. So I found this loop and I'm just going to use the first part of the loop like this. Just in the background. So that's it. Very, very simple. So let's combine those three. So that's it. So this is the foundation when it comes to the loop. So right now we're going to add some individual elements. So I'm already adding some swing. So let's say 20% of swing. So just make sure the drums are not played exactly at the same time to so make it a little bit more humanic and not that quantized. So right now I'm going to build the drum loop layer by layer. So in this way, it's very easy for you as a beginner to follow up. So let's start off with a kick. So I'm just going to pick the first one, which I select, kick three. I'm going to create a simple four by four rhythm, which sounds like this. So make sure the velocity is right here, at the level. So let's create an eight bar loop. And then let's select pattern one and paste it into the arrangement. Very, very simple. So then let's layer a clip. So for example, clip four, add it at this every second kick. Very house inspired layer. Then of course, let's randomize it just a little bit by polar, just to add some more dynamics to the drum loop. Then I'm gonna add a symbol. So in this case, let's say a head. Then we're gonna add a open head, which we're gonna add at the half beat. So let's say this one sounds really cool. You could simply select the kicks and then just paste it right here, drag it half a step to the right. Of course, this one is way too loud, so let's reduce the volume a little bit. So now we're going to add some hand percussions, for example, congas or toms, whatever. So let's say I'm going to use the Emma Piano Paradise drum kit again. Amazing drum kit. Let's say we select a conga. So like this one sounds very organic. So for now, let's pick another one. So let's say a djembe, for example, which contains some more mid frequencies. So let's say we add this one. So I want to add it right here. Of course, we're going to paste it over. Control C, Control B, randomize it. Let's pick another one. So for example, in the sums folder, Let's say this one, which contains some more low frequencies. Add it right here. Very simple. So let, maybe let's add another one, simple one. So let's add this one. So at the end of the first bar, I'm using a tom, which contains some more high frequencies. And at the end of the second bar, I'm using a tom, which contains some low frequencies, which is a very simple way how to create a drum loop. So let's have a listen. So that's it, very simple. We definitely have to tweak this by mixing the elements because right now some elements are just way too loud. So right now I'm gonna link those elements to the mixer and then play around with the volume. 
And then, for example, let's add some reverb on some of the elements. So you could use every reverb you like. So I'm going to use the plate 140 from Aturia. I'm just going to use the default preset. So we're going to add a short decay. You could also, for example, add some reverb on another layer. So in this case, let's just use the stock plugin through the reverb 2. Just add just a little bit because if you add too much, it will get blurry. So around two, three to 5%, something like that. So now it's time to add the melody. So first I want to start off with an amazing jazzy cop aggression. So this is gonna be a little bit more complicated, but I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible for you guys. So one of my favorite plugins when it comes to adding those very typical chord melodies is using the stage 73. And I found this preset, Dark Funkies. You can play around with, for example, the brightness. We're gonna tweak this one later on. So right now, let's just start by building the chord progression. So I've adjusted the scale to G sharp minor. So let's just start off. So just this one. So those are the root notes. So right now we're just gonna add notes on top. So that's the first chord. So let's copy it over. That sounds really cool. It's not even in the scale, but that doesn't matter. Maybe let's adjust those ones. Very simple, now basically reverse to this one. So we're now maybe, so we're now maybe let's chop up this one right here, something like this. So to do. That sounds really cool. So we're now select none. So we're gonna make sure not all the notes are perfectly on beat, for example. So this makes it, again, more humanic. Then just add some random ones. That's it, so right now let's randomize this one just a little bit. So we're gonna, I think right now it sounds just as sharp. So let's reduce it, lower it down. And then we're gonna stromize this one just to make sure not all the notes are played at the same time. Sounds so cool. So I've tweaked this one just a little bit more. I've added a second section where I've added some notes right here. So let's have a listen. I just had that one. That sounds really, really cool. So right now let's adjust the brightness because I think it's just way too bright and way too loud. That's it. And right now let's adjust the volume. So later I'm gonna mix it. And of course add some reverb. So let's link it to the mixer. And then let's add a simple reverb, just the one you like. I, right now, like to use this one. That's more of a chorus effect. Maybe just also let's add a chorus, tune six. Makes it way wider. That's it. So if a chord progression like this just sounds too harsh, add some reverb and add a chorus, that's it and always add the chorus before the reverb in your mixing chain. So now it's still missing some low frequency, so I want to add a simple bass. So there's a new plugin in Apple Studio 21, which is called Kepler. I haven't used this one that much. So basses. Looking for a realistic bass guitar, so I, I really like this one. And then just simply select the root notes, paste them into this one. 
and then pitch it down one octave until it sounds good. Oh. Perfect. So that's it, very simple. So the next step is to maybe add some pads to widen it up a little bit and add some more ambience to this beat. So I feel like I have to use this classic one, the x 2. If you're an Afrobeat and a piano producer, it's very cheap, definitely grab this one. So I want to just pick a simple, for example, this sign pad, something like this. Sounds very spacious. And then just copy over those ones. You don't necessarily have to also add the root notes because I just want to add some more high frequencies. Oh, this one sounds beautiful. Just the volume. A great addition to the chords. So that's also perfect. So I think those elements go really, really well together. And then as for example, we could use expand again and, and add a brass at the offbeat, for example. So for example, sharp one, play around with the cutter filter. Sounds way too sharp, so let's rename this one Brass. Let's link it right here. And now first let's remove some high frequency. So we're basically gonna push this element to the background. So we're gonna use a high cut, a low pass. But also remove the low frequencies because you definitely don't need those. And then let's add some reverb. That's it. Very simple, to make sure it doesn't get too blurry, just add a low cut around 500 hertz. So the reverb won't put basically a reverb on the low frequencies. So make sure to play around with these settings. So a high cut and low cut. Then I want to add another synth element. So in this case, maybe let's add a CS80 V4. So I found this big lead, this one. Just another element which you could use in the build-up of this track. Very simple, make sure when you're creating a beat like this to add some elements like this. So right now let's disable those ones. And let's for example add another June 6. So I found this digital piano. something like this. So it came with this melody in the end. It still sounds way too, too sharp, so let's lower down the brightness. So I think we've added enough layers when it comes to building the main melody section for an amp piano beat. So right now I'm gonna add the log drum, the most fun one, so Let's look it up. For the DX10, and I'm gonna add a log drum preset from the African Producer Bundle. So if you want to check out the African Producer Bundle or the Amo Piano Producer Bundle, there is a free preview, which you can download for free. Just on my website, make sure to download it, and you will receive an amazing amount of samples. 100% royalty free. And for the African Producer Bundle, it's called the African Sound Selection. So we open up our log drum kit. So let's pick a random one, log drum eight. Let's start off right here. So that sounds really dope. So this is gonna be our main rhythm. Maybe just pitch this one down right here. Ooh. 
So this one sounds really cool, very, very simple. It's just following the root nodes of the core progression, but still want to add another element which adds some more high frequencies. So I think it's called Harmor. It's called Harmless, by the way. Harmless. There are some really cool bass presets which you can layer with your lock drum. This one, it's this one. Just copy it over. better. So that's basically it. Definitely need some mixing because right now it sounds very, very messy. So first we could just, for example, lower down the volume. Sounds way much better. And then we could also add another effect. So and so in the Emma Piano Paradise drum kit, I've added the typical Emma Piano up and down lifter signature. So it's this one. Also, let's adjust the volume. So right now I've created the main elements for this beat. So right now let me arrange it real quick and I'm gonna show you the result in a second. So this is the final arrangement. I really enjoyed the outcome of this beat. So if you want to check out the full beat, the link will be in the description. You can also check out my beats on my second channel. But right now let's have a listen to the final result. Add some more reverb. Build up using this bass line. Just make sure the beats come to life somehow. And a simple grid. This is a build up. Building up, log drum comes in. Add some more low frequencies using this FM sub. Lead coming in. Again. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to listen to the full beat, the link is in the description, or you can listen to the beat without me rumbling over it. And if you want to check out the free sample packs, make sure to check out the link in the description. And with all this being said, I hope you have a great day, create some awesome beats, and see you in the next one.